we were surprised when we did our first analysis of the cerebrospinal fluid with some of the best mass spec technology that we have in the world at Harvard Medical School. I was shocked to see how many what we call extracellular matrix proteins there were in the fluid itself, right? So what extracellular matrix proteins are, is these are actually proteins that are found in the extracellular matrix outside of the cells, but making up that fascial component, the liquid fascia, even like the bridges of, of some of the, some of the tissues between cells that really kind of keep helps keep the cells together, but also the liquid cells, the liquid fascia, the liquid um, space between the cells. And when I saw that, I was like, wow, this is, this is absolutely amazing. You know, I actually called it a liquid, a liquid extracellular matrix. I called it a liquid fascia, um, a liquid extension. We like to separate things. We like to sort of compartmentalize things in science. We like to say, you know, this is the liver. This is the heart. This is the, you know, this is the brain. But when you get down to it on that, on that really like molecular level, on the resonance level that you're talking about, it, it's almost, it's impossible to, fa to separate it because it's, it's really, and, and, and this is what drives me to it. It's, it's really all one when you get to that fascial level. Um, you know, and so coagulating. Exact, exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly.